This is another video of an example of how to use the uh, Newton's method to approximate the zeros of a function. And so now our function is going to be x plus sine of x plus 1. And so if I take the, the derivative, it's going to be 1 plus the cosine of x plus 1 times the derivative of what's inside, but that's just 1, and so nothing changes. So now if we go back to Excel, I need to redefine these, and I'm going to go ahead and I don't really need to, re to redefine all of them, just simply, uh, just simply one here. And so uh, B2 squared, okay, so now we need, this is where we need to put in our X value, which is going to be my input plus the sine of my input plus one. And now the derivative is going to be 1 plus the cosine of my input plus 1. And then finally, now I just have that reiteration. And so as you notice, what I have to do here is I have to go through and reset all of them here. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. And now I have to recopy these down here. Bloop. Okay, so now if we notice, we're all we're we're converging very, very quickly for our choice of negative one. Let's try zero and see what happens. And you see we're still converging, but we're just we might be taking a little bit longer to do it. Uh, let's try three. Whoa, uh-oh, look at this. You see this just blowing up? That's because we're hitting that other point. That idea of um, uh, when I showed the video, or the lecture video, I said that one of the ways that is, or one of the things that is sufficient to, to say that you converge is that f of x, f double prime of x all over f prime of x squared. The absolute value of that has to be less than 1 in order to converge. Well, if it diverges, which means it does not converge, then this is greater or equal to 1. And so we have an issue, and this is what it looks like. It just starts blowing up. And so for that, for, for x equals 3, we have some serious issues going on. And so we need to keep it less than 3 then. So we try two, two still blows up. Uh, we, whoop, I didn't want to try that. Let's try one. No, no, go back. That's this year. Go back to one, and now it converges again. Try 1.5. That still converges. And so we have, try 1.8. Oh, and that, okay, so now that there's a magical number between 1.5 and 1.8, where we start hitting issues 1.5 1.6 1.55 okay so now what we can do then is we can start looking for uh, smaller and smaller numbers and 1.5 it, it goes ahead and it um, converges somewhere after that it diverges where I don't know so this is part of this idea of the radius convergence now let's see if negative 1.5 that still converges negative 1.6 that converges negative 5 you'll see now it takes longer but that converges as well okay so now i'm just going to go ahead and, and choose zero and so the sign of one is not zero and that's why we're getting our our answer here but I guess it's pretty close, and so that, it converges fairly quickly. So now our zero point is going to be negative 0 0.48902, and what we see is that even in this, even in this, after the second iteration, we're looking at an error of a pittance. I mean, that value right there, that says that that's the y value of it. That's very close to zero. And so 4.890, oh, 
would probably get us there. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and record that. Zero at negative 0 0.4890. And now we want to keep that zero in there. That means something in the sciences. That means that you're, you know it down to that point. If you don't include it, that means you only know it down to three decimal places. And then we have a zero here. Okay, so now that's that's the approximation, and that's how Newton's method works.